Hello everybody and welcome to my channel, Shanna Makes It. It's Sunday evening, uh, January 8th, and I'm already in my pajamas. It's actually 9.30. And um, I thought I would just take a little time and do a little crafting. So I just want to welcome you. Thanks uh, for stopping by my channel. If you are a subscriber, I greatly appreciate your returning to my channel. If you are new, I hope that perhaps you will like what you see and perhaps consider subscribing to my channel. It's a new channel and I'm trying to grow it. So I welcome each and every one of you to subscribe to my channel. I would count it as a pleasure and I would thank you for that. So tonight I have had these three pieces of pattern paper in my craft room stash for a long time. They're from the paper studio, which is you get at Hobby Lobby. $1.99 is what they run, but I'm sure that I got them you know, 50% off or whatever. But I was thinking about these sheets of paper that I didn't really have anything to do with them. They kind of have big patterns on them, um, but I still think I could make a pretty neat card out of them. So I thought um, that I would give it a try. I would try to put together some cards using these panels and um, just see what comes up. I don't really have a plan in mind. I just pulled these three sheets of paper and I'm gonna just kind of start cutting and, and see what I come up with and just bring you along. So uh, I'll get these cut down and we'll see what we can come up with. Okay, I think I have a plan for all three of these pieces of cardstock paper that I showed you. Um, I'm probably gonna hate, my, absolutely hate myself in the morning because it's getting late and I have to get up very early in the morning. But here I am making this video, cranking out these three cards. So um, we'll see how I feel in the morning. Anyway, what I did was I took the um, this paper pack and I actually just split it, and I did the same thing with my gold mirror cardstock and split it. So I'm actually gonna get two cards out of it. I'm gonna make the first one first, and we'll just assemble it. It's gonna be pretty simple because I wanna kinda of showcase this patterned paper, so I'm kinda of keeping the elements pretty fairly simple on it. So I'm just gonna lay my card base down with my Barely Art Precision Craft Glue. A little bit closer to the edge. I have my card panel open up the right way. And then just get that lined up real nice. It's going to be a pretty quick card. And then um, I'm just going to actually, for this piece, I'm actually going to use a um, um, some sticky tape because it, the gold mirror is a little bit harder to get to stick. So I thought I'd just lay some sticky tape down on it. This is just two-sided tape from Spellbinders. And I'm just gonna put some on there, lay it down. And then I'll just grab, what do I do with my all-in-one tool? I have it sitting here. Oh, there it is right there in plain sight. Okay, and I'll just grab this just to kind of pick up the edge of that. Pull it off. There we go. Pull that off. And I think just I will add a little bit of glue um, in the open space just to make sure that we can get it to adhere well. Um, and then just line that up as nicely as I can. So that looks pretty good. Maybe I need to put, oh yeah, I'm gonna have to trim that off a little bit because that card was a little bit wonky, but anyway. And then for this, I thought for certain, well, first of all, I think I'm gonna put just a strip of black on there just to kind of um, cover that line and just kind of um, add a little bit of another color to it. So this is just some black cardstock that I had in my supply. And I'm just gonna run some glue along it. And then I'll just lay it on there where I want it. Just give it how I want it, lay it down. And then I'll just take my scissors, open it up and I'll just clip it off. Um, I gotta get my scissors out. 
I'm I'm getting some shadows there. Let's give it a good snap. Hmm, it's not wanting to snap. Hmm, a little rough edge there. And then um, this one I'm actually going to have to kind of snap in two directions because it's going to my corner. So I'm going to hold it down snip it off and then turn it over and snip it off again and so it'll have that nice edge there and then as I was looking at this I was thinking about a card kit that I had that I was fairly sure had this um, kind of a similar pattern to that and I found it and it had this wish for it hope for it dream of it and I've got it on some foam just some little foam backing to lift it up. And um, I think I'm gonna cut, cut that piece of the card off right now while I'm looking at it. I'm just gonna run my scissors along there and cut that off because it's just poking out there. Okay. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna lay the sentiment down here on this corner because I wanna leave that open and kind of showcase that paper. So it's gonna be a really simple card. I'm just gonna add some glue to the back of this foam. I've already got the sticker adhered to the foam. This particular foam here is just from a dollar store and it only has the sticker part on one side of it. So um, I have to glue on the other side. And I probably got an abundance of glue. I think I'm gonna touch it a little bit to my paper there. And then I'm just gonna lay it down. I had a little bit of a bend in my card, my gold mirror card stock, so I thought it'd be nice to just cover that up and just lay that right on there is how I'm gonna do it. And then I'm gonna just lay this on top of it and let it Make sure I've got it even. I think I moved it a little bit. And then just lay that on there and just set it aside and let it dry. And because I cut the paper like I did, it's going to allow for me to do two cards with this. Um, it'll just be in reverse. So I'm going to grab another card base. I had them lay yeah, down on my table. So I'm just going to grab another card base. Um, let's see if this one lines up any better. Look, that looks a little bit better. Um, and then I'm just going to do the same thing that I did just in the opposite direction and use um, use all of this. I love this gold mirror cardstock from Spellbinder, so I'm not going to, I don't want to waste it, that's for sure. I may have to get some more of this. Um, yeah, I'm going to run out of this sticky tape. Let's see, I've got some more in here. This this tape, um, I mentioned in my last video, it comes in the kits, the Spellbinder kits. I usually get a roll of this double-sided tape and then these with each of the kits, so um, I'm just going to use it. And like I said, it just works better with a mirrored cardstock just to get it to lay down quicker. Because with the glue, sometimes it'll move and, and it takes a bit to dry. So I... I like to use this on the mirrored cardstock. And I'm going to use some silver with the next card that I have, so that ought to be interesting. I haven't used the silver mirrored cardstock yet, so this will be the first time. Anyway, so I'm basically just doing the same thing, only in the opposite. You know, I've got the bigger piece of gold and the smaller piece of that um, cardstock. Obviously, I've got enough of that cardstock that I can make. You know a couple other cards out of each of it. I just cut down enough for these cards here, but I do have a bit of that left, so I'll be able to do something else with it later. Okay, so I'm going to make sure I got my card and then just lay this down, get it lined up as best I can. And then I can just glue this down just like I did the other piece. Get it lined up, line up the corners better. Okay, that looks good. And then I've got another piece of that black cut. Again, I'm just going to do 
the same thing with that. I think I was thinking what I was going to do with it. Just do the same thing with it. I get it to stick down on my cardstock. Just snip that off. It's not want to stay down as well. Snip that off. So we have, we've got our corner piece. So I need that to lay down a little bit better. Um, now, uh, on this one, I guess I wasn't set on the sentiment yet. I had this piece here that I thought was kind of cute. Can I zoom in a little bit? But I feel like we need something bigger for that. Um, we had this, Live the Life You Love. It's like a ticket. I'm not sure I'm sold on that. But maybe this one. Smile often. Think positively. Give thanks. Yeah, I think I'm going to go with that. And I'm going to position it. And then I've got some of these little stars that I could add. I think I probably need to bump that up, though. Because it's a little flat. The cards are a little flat. I probably shouldn't. It looks like I'm going to run out of this, this stuff, too. Get it. Oh, I think we can get it with this. Get it laid down on there. Just pull it off. These, um, both of these sentiments came from the Butterfly Sparkle Kit. It's the same as that last video I did. I just have some remnants of it. And um, when I was thinking about this color pattern, I thought um, that I should probably use the remnants from that kit for it, is what I was thinking. So, oh gosh, I zoomed up and then now it's like really, really in there. So I see a little bend in that, so I'm going to put that little star there, and I thought I had some other... Little stars. Yeah, there's another one there. Um, I don't know if I'm going to put it there or if I want to put it here with that. I think I might just put it right there with that. So I'm going to lift that up and just put a little tiny dot, dot of glue on there. And then lay it down. Probably need my tweezers, but I don't have them out here okay so I got a little excess glue on there hopefully it'll dry clearly on my oh jeez I don't know if it's gonna dry clear or if it'll make a mess on there I'll use my little cleanup tool to kind of clean that up oh I think we're gonna be all right it's wiping right off yeah we're gonna be all right so um this is very simple both of these cards are just simple simple cards but I had this um, this cardstock in my craft room forever, and I thought, well, I'd like to do something with it. So I basically got these two cards out of it, and then we'll move on to the next. And these are all of these are very very simple patterns. I just wanted to use up that cardstock, and so I, I came up with something quite simple for all of them. So then on this one, I'm just going to get my card panel. This is um, the, the bigger floral pattern that I had. And I had a couple ideas with it, but wasn't sure what I was going to do. But um, So I thought I'd show you both of them. So basically, I'm just going to lay some cardstock down. And this is Spellbinder's cardstock as well. And I'm just going to lay it down on my panel, on my card base. Get it lined up.
get glue on my fingers again. And then normally, a lot of times what I'll do is I'll center it and do it like that. But I thought for this one, I'm going to do it a little bit differently. I'm just going to put my glue on there. Until it's getting light, I'm getting a little bit crazy with my gluing. And, and I'm going to kind of favor this top. I'm going to leave an edge on there. But I'm I'm going to offset it. Because normally I just go straight to the middle all the time and do that. And I'm like, you need to do something different. So that's what I'm going to do with that. And then I had this option and I thought, does it, is it, does it blend in too much with uh, all of the other mirrored gold or does it just really complement it? So I had that option and then I thought, well, or I could do this option with the pink and make it kind of pop off of there. So I, in looking at it, I mean, the pink is very pretty. It, it pops off because it does kind of pull out that color there. But I'm thinking I really like this. So I think I might just set that down. Let me know in the comments, would you have done the pink or would you have done the gold? I'd be interested in hearing that. And I am gonna grab my, I'm gonna grab my tweezers for this so that I can just very lightly put some glue on here and some spots and get this set down. I need to clean off my the tip of my glue. Oh, it's just horrible. Oh, I had a big old chunk on there. I wonder if I'm having trouble gluing. So I'm just going to try and squeeze that out and kind of let it go back in. So I can just very lightly put some glue on here because I do not want to make a mess out of this. I love this gold mirrored cardstock, but if you get the glue on there, you can make a mess out of it really quick. And that's frustrating. So I'm just trying to get to where I think I can get it to lay down without making a royal mess. And I think I'm just going to put it right here because I want to show that beautiful patterned paper. Just try and lay that down. And then I'll, oh, it moved on me. Hopefully I've got enough glue on there. I'm just going to put this on there and press it down. I think I've got it good and straight. So I like that. I think that looks really pretty. And when you move it, you can see all that gold in that patterned paper. So I'm just going to set that on there, set that aside. And like I said, these are very simple. And then the next one, another very, very simple one, because I, again, I want to showcase that patterned paper. So what I've got here is the silver mirrored cardstock um, from Spellbinders. And I've not used it, and the lighting's probably going to make it challenging. And it kind of puts a glare on it. Um, but I think I need to do the same thing with it that I have done with the gold and use the tape rather than the glue. So I'm going to do that. And that tape, as you've seen me do it, you can just rip it. You don't have to cut it. You can just lay it down on there and just kind of rip it off. So we got that on there. We'll just pick the backing off. Now on this card and the, the one that I just did, I did use the, the um, dies to cut out, cut down my cardstock. So that's what I used. I used the Spellbinders A2 basic matting die set. And I just cut my cart um, stock down with that. Just going to try and get this laid on there real nicely. And I went edge to edge on all of these. Wipe that off a little bit. Um, they do get fingerprints on them. And then on this, I'm going to, I think I'm going to do the same thing as, um, Use this tape to lay it on that. It's not as forgiving as your glue. You can move your glue around, but but it will stick to the 
mirrored that shiny silver paper. So that's what I'm going to do. And I'll just have to be really careful when I lay it down so that I can get it in the spot that I want it. The other one I offset. Now this one I was thinking I would center. Probably would be easier to offset it, but we go. Okay, so we've gonna just lay that down in the center. Try to get a good... I think it's down. I'm not gonna be able to move it. So that's where it's gonna be. Okay, and then what I did was I took two of the Hello dies in white cardstock and I've already layered it. And then I'm just gonna add some glue and I'm gonna try to do it very carefully. Let it squeeze it out and then kind of let the tube suck it back in so that you don't have massive amounts of glue on that tip. And then I'm going to take my silver and just line it up on top of that. Get everything all lined up, match everything up. And now I've got three layers of that. So that'll pop right up on the card panel. And I'm just going to grab it with my tweezers do the same thing with my glue. And lay it down on my card. And I think I'm gonna, I kinda like that. I think I might, let's see, where do I wanna put that? I wanna, I wanna showcase that big one. I think I'm going to put it up here. I don't normally do that either. Oops. And it moved on me. Okay. Does that look straight? I think that looks straight. I'll move this over and then just press it down with my... So there we go. Um, four very quick, simple, easy cards um, in which I was able to use some pattern paper that I had in my craft room for quite some time. I've got a encouragement card, a, actually two encouragement cards, a hello card and a thank you card. And um, I think they turned out pretty nice um, for a quick, easy nighttime craft. So if you like them, give me a thumbs up, consider subscribing, and I would greatly appreciate it. Have a great evening. I have got to get to bed. Take care. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm.